Oh boy. <laughs> Today we're shooting Cherokee bow hunters 3D shoot the Crowder at Fort Crowder in Neosho, Missouri. Gotta see how we do. Turkey season is in a couple weeks. Should be fun. Alright, I'm up. I think this one's closer. It is a little shaky. Good shot. A little left. Your turn. A little left for scoring. Let's see what they are. Oh, you got the 10. Really hung an eight. That's mine. That's his. So this is the 10 ring, and then this shoot is scoring the lower 12s. This one's eight. Anything in there or touching the line. And then anything else is a five, unless you miss. Then that is a zero. Smoked it. You're gone. I hate that. Smoked it. <laughs> so what <laughs> is? <laughs> I'm gonna smoke this one. <laughs> A little low for scoring. So you killed it though. Ooh, not bad. Definitely, oh yeah, definitely was aiming for that bottom. Total, not really. 10, 12 for you. Yep. <laughs> All right, now we're shooting off of the stand to that bedded doe. Up we go. We just got done with our first half, so 15 targets down. How do you feel so far? Pretty good. I feel pretty good too. Missed one. But... Yeah, that was a long one, but just under it. That's okay. So we got 15 more. We got 15 more, and hopefully we can keep up the pace we're shooting at because it's shooting decent. So. Here we go. We're all grunting and then clicking. I guess we'll have to click, grunt, and then just. <laughs> 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 you don't think deer make that noise? Mine do. Really? Oh 
Oh my gosh, how do you do it? Well, I mean, I just aim and I just go like that, and it goes there. Bull crap. <laughs> Oh, you got it. It's a good one. What is that, a mule deer? <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I bought him last year. It's my pet. His name was Ricky. Ricky. Uh, cut his horns off. You know, he's kind of mean. Antlers? Yeah. Yeah. So we just shot from up there. And this is Bailey Cloud's shot. Right through the face into the eight. That is a trick shot. Good shot. Thank you. So now we're, we're at the critter patch. Here's a target. There's a target. There's a target. And there's a target. So I'm first so I get to pick any one of these. And then he can't shoot my target whatever one I hit if I hit it. And then he has to pick one. So. What are you picking? Like, Ooh, what do I want to go for? Probably that coon to the left. Ooh, that was Smoked pretty him. good, I think. All right, your turn. What are you going for today? Oh, there's, there's another one. Wait, can you even see that one? Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. You're going for that far one? Is that okay? Oh, well, I guess. I'm like the wimp, I choose the easy one. Not too close, not too far. Hey, you hit it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm so lucky. All luck. <laughs> Two more targets. Okay. Back of the chin, I think. Shot didn't feel that great, but it hit good. I accidentally stopped and started it. I didn't realize you. How are you feeling about your shots, like shooting today? Pretty good. Pretty good. I've had three that I didn't click, but oh, I am yeah. freaking. Jeez. Mm. Yeah, that one's a little tricky sometimes. So this is the last target, as you can see, super close which can sometimes be tricky for me. Ten, maybe? <laughs> not bad, not bad. Kill shot, at least. We're like hardcore going for score. <laughs> we should be going for kills. <laughs> Yours was good. Yep. <laughs> Last target, you 12 it. <laughs> Dang. Good shooting. I think we did kinda, pretty good. Kind of sad I didn't get to the click, but that's okay. On that shot, you didn't? No. Shame. All right, let's add up our scores. So we finished our 3D shoot for today. I finished with a 280, he finished with a 256. He had one miss and kind of miss kind of hurts your score. But 
it happens. I think we're ready for turkey season though. We're overall pretty ex happy with how we shot. We shot a lot of tens, which are great. So now we're sharpening our broadheads. We just got this new KME knife sharpener. It works really good. He's shooting the cutthroats. And then I'm shooting the VPA two blade. Seem really durable. So do the cutthroats. So we'll see how they turn out this season.